I think a lot of it has to do with the Jews always being seen as part of the other. Uh, you know, for for centuries, for millennium, Jews always lived amongst ourselves and were always singled out in communities where we lived. Uh, it wasn't until the French Republic actually welcomed Jews as citizens that Jews were really seen as a part of a society. They were always sort of on the outskirts of the society. I don't want to place blame on, on the administration. I don't think it's fair to place blame on the administration. Uh, I think there was an increase in, in rhetoric that caused for concern, but it it's not as if it was necessarily an increase in the rhetoric because it's always been there. You know, one of the Look, the best way to fight anti-Semitism is, you know, sharing the sharing of information. You know, I believe that people are not familiar with, with who Jews are as a people, what we believe, uh, what relationships we have, what we do. And I think the sharing of information is, is the most important thing that we can do. surge of bomb threats against Jewish community centers or JCCs across the country. You know, while we've seen an uptick in anti-Semitism recently, we have to remember that, that this isn't new, right? Like we as a community, we as a Jewish community have been facing anti-Semitism for over two millennia. You know, it happened before the State of Israel, it happened before Jews were in exile um, from the destruction of the First Temple. I mean, people have always hated us. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's ever going to go away. The only thing that can change is our ability to create greater awareness about both the lies uh, that are espoused about us and the number of people that we connect with.